So, you have a course and you want to upload it on a self-hosting platform and you chose Teachable for this. And for some reason, you don't know how to upload the course there. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you just that. Step by step, no BS, no fluff, only the things that you need to know in order to upload the course on Teachable. And I'm going to be showing it on an example. Everything will be shown live by me on an example of my own course. So, without further ado, let's just get started. But first... First, let's start with the very basics and register on a Teachable itself. I'm not going to be showing you that because it's extremely simple. You register with an email, choose your password, choose your username, you upload your photo or don't and that's it. Like on any other website. And here arises the first question. Do you need to pay for Teachable? Actually, yes, but not necessarily. Teachable has paid subscriptions, which starts from $39 a month, but they offer free subscription as well, which you can use to enroll up to 10 students with zero money paid. So after you've registered your free account, what you need to do before you're going to be uploading your course is you need to create your first school. Schools are kind of like a collection of the courses or playlists, maybe if you want to call them. And you can upload any number of courses you want there. So now I'm going to be showing you how we can actually create a school. So welcome to my Teachable dashboard. This is what you are going to see when you first log in into the school. Or rather, you will see the completely empty school because you don't have any school here. And you'll also see the courses that you are enrolled in. I'm not going to be showing you those right now, but this is what you're going to see. So now let's create the school. All you need to do is go and press create new school press it and you are gonna name this school i'm gonna call it uh, just in case maybe i want to use it in the future nick nixon academy all i need to do now is to press create new school now it will take you to the survey just answer the questions and move on to the next after you'll do this it will take you to your new school by the way pay really close attention because when you'll create this school it will give you a your handle basically it will give you a teachable domain this is what it will give you this will be your teachable domain in this case it's a nick dash nixon dash academy and now you have your own school. Before I will move on, I want to give you just important piece of information. Every single payment that you do, monthly payment, refers to only a single school. So if you have two or three multiple schools with each own distinct courses, you will have to pay for them separately. Just know that. And when you register a new school, you're going to have a 14 day trial for every feature that you have in a Teachable. Congratulations. Now you have created your own school and you're ready to upload your courses. By the way, you can upload any number of courses that you want in a school. Now let's move on to uploading an actual course. And again, we're going to do this on a computer. Okay, now we're ready to upload our course. And this is exactly what we are going to do right now. So in order to be able to upload your course, all you need to do is go to the courses button right here, press it, and you're going to see a plus button right here. And now you will be able to upload your first course. So this is the first stage of the course that you need to choose and you need to do it. You have actually only the three stages. It's an added information, add a curriculum and add price. That's all. And for the one who doesn't know what curriculum means, it's basically upload your lectures there. Now, what you're going to do is choose the title for your course. This is the main title of your course. I'm just going to use a placeholder title in this case and choose subtitle, which basically explains shortly what your course is all about, just like that. And after that, you can select an author. So in this case, because you are an only author, you can just select yourself and that's it. If you have a team of instructors that you can add, by the way, in the Teachable, you can select the different authors that you want. And after that, all you need to do is just press create a course. By the way, you can change all of those information anytime you want. Now you will have an access to this tab right here. Everything will open up right here and you can go and mix and match and change everything that you want. For example, if you go to the information, you're going to have the same details that we chose right here. And additionally, you can choose a category as well. The categories are created and chosen by you. So whatever you will do here, you can name it however, whatever you want. Here is the same with an author. You can actually choose the bio of an author as well. Here is an SEO information, basically giving you a handle of the specific website. For example, if you go to the nixon.teachable.com slash courses slash course by Nick Nixon or whatever title that you choose or whatever for URL that you'll choose. This will be your page's URL. It will be the page title and uh, meta description as well. Choose those well because this is how Google will index your course in case someone will search in a Google. Here is the branding. I suggest you to do branding uh, only by the end of the course. This is basically the course image course title image that you want 
and the promo video, basically a short introduction to the course before someone will actually buy it. I highly suggest you to use promo video. It's not necessary, but always use it because it will help you to sell the course very easily. If you have a higher licenses on Teachable, you can actually use this one as well, which forces students to go through the courses or forces students to go through the entire video before they can move on. I don't suggest you to do that because Usually you want to give the students as much freedom as possible. And the default pages is basically where the student will be taken after they will buy the course. To the thank you page, to the course curriculum, basically immediately to the studying, or they can go to the, some custom URL that you want to choose for them. And here you can also delete the course and duplicate the course. This is just a short information that you want to know. Now let's move to an important bit, which is curriculum. So here Teachable made it a bit more complicated than it needs to be, but know that you can add two things here. You can add a section and you can add a course. So in order to add a section, you can just press new section right here and it will add a section and I'm gonna call it section number two. And now you're gonna have a new section, section where you will add a different lecture. And in order to add a different lecture, all you need to do is press add new lecture and that's it, it will add a new lecture. But how to add an information to the lecture? All you need to do is just press lecture itself and it will take you to the editing information of the lecture. So as you can see here, you have an, all the additional information that you want. Add a file is basically a video that you want to add. You're gonna press this one and you will be able to add videos from your device from web search, why would you do from web search, but still from Dropbox, from Google Drive, OneDrive or from OneDrive business, or if you have a direct URL, you can edit from here. I highly suggest you before you're gonna move on to uploading the course, upload your course to the cloud or Google Drive or Dropbox somewhere, because this will help you to first save your course in case something will go wrong. And second, it will be uploading much, much, much faster because you need to back up your course anyway. So why would you just back up one time on Google and then upload it again on Teachable or any other platform or Udemy or any other platform? All you need to do is just upload them once and then you can upload it from Google Drive right here. Just choose the lecture. After that, add a text if you want. This is a description. It's not necessary, but you can. Add a quiz if you want. Add a code example if, you have, if you're doing a coding course, of course. Add a custom code or add an upsell. Upsell is a bit higher tier and upsell is, for example, if you have a lecture that mentions a different course, you can allow your students to buy this new course directly from here. This is a bit a higher function, but it is available there. And after you will fill up your course, this is how it will look like. Approximately, this is example of one of my courses, which is about Pinterest. And you will see something very, very important that you need to pay very close attention to. I symbol and a check symbol. I symbol means that anyone who can come to the course, to your landing page, see curriculum, before they will buy it, they will be able to actually watch some of your lecture. This is a pre free previews of the lectures to give your students an understanding what they're enrolling to. I highly suggest you to have one or two free previews like that. You can actually ignore this completely and don't do any pre free previews, but still, I highly suggest you to do that. When you, when you feel like you are done with the course, with the lecture, you always need to check this one because this will publish the lecture. If you will not have a green check mark right here and it will be the dark gray, like this color, that means that your lecture will not be available for anyone watching the course. So I highly suggest you, not highly suggest you, always check this one because otherwise your course simply will not be available. And after that, you can always go to the pricing. You can actually add the pricing. You can choose the different pricing plans that you want because the Teachable has very, very flexible pricing plans. All you need to do is just press pricing plan. It can be a free course. It can be a one-time purchase. It can be a payment plan or it can be a subscription. If you have a smaller course, yeah, one-time purchase will do, but if you have a bit more expensive course, for example, you are planning to price your course for $200 and or $500 and you are providing an extended support, then you can add a payment plan or subscription. This is all up to you. The payment is, the pricing is 100% up to you. Do whatever you see fit. And all everything else that you will see or the drip content, the comments, everything that you want is not 100% necessary. You can add whatever you want. You can also add a certificate to the course if you want to do so. But it's again, it's a bit higher tier pricing plan. So if you are using a free plan or a basic plan, it's not available. This actually will show you which plan it's available for. The same for the coupons. It's available for the higher tier plans and you can even bundle different content with this. So you can create a course bundles in order to sell them together. And after that, you can go on and change some information about the pages because this is important information about the pages. Pages are basically the landing pages where your student will actually land. 
this is a very important you can actually change it however you want i'm gonna show you how it's done you can press an edit page right here and you'll be taken to the default page usual default pages are pretty good pretty okay and you can actually work on this and change like uh and you can change the enroll button, you can change the course description, you can show all the information that you think, you can add a, your bio or change however you want, you can add an FAQ if you want to do so, you can show the course curriculum right here, you can add a bundle of content, you can add a course paging, uh, page closing letter and everything that you want and you can always press preview just to see how it will look like. I usually don't sell this course on Teachable. I rarely sell any course on Teachable, but this is how it will look like. This is your landing page. For example, the thing that I actually made, it actually shows you everything that you want right here. If you press a thank you page, this will take the student to the thank you page, or you can go with the, or you can set up the checkout page if you want. This 100% easy, simple thing to do. And what's most important is that if you have a multiple places where you want to promote your course, you can actually add a different sales pages. For example, if you have different sales page for the Facebook ads, if you have different for the, your YouTube channel, if you have a different for your maybe Instagram ads, you have different for your Google ads, you can add up however you can add up whatever number that you want. Actually, the maximum number is actually 10 and you can choose the primary page as well. And after that, after you are done with all this, go to information and you're going to see the button right here, which will be, which will, we are, you're, and you're going to see a green button right here, which will be named publish the course. Press publish the course and congratulations, your course is actually already live. As you can see, uploading course on Teachable is very simple and very similar to uploading on any other course hosting platform. With an exception of a landing page, which you can somewhat customize and you can create a separate landing pages for different circumstances after you are done with an uploading of the course now we can move on to a different stage which is promoting your course but it's a topic for a completely different video well this will be for today i hope this will be helpful and this will help you to upload your first teachable courses and eventually in the future will help you to create a successful business from this this will be it for today thank you for being here with me like the video if you like it subscribe for more videos like this one and i'm gonna see you in the next one. See ya.